Hey guys, my name is Alana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you click that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. You can also tell, uh, turn on the bell notification if you want to be notified every time I post a video. Um, I try to post weekly, so make sure you look out for that. So as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be how to style grunge outfits and um, just some ideas and tips of how to be kind of more like grunge aesthetic if you're into that. So um, I've got a couple of like tips and things that I think kind of go with the whole like grunge um, scene. Now I just want to quickly read something. I have some notes here just because I can't remember them all. But um, I was thinking about this video and I was thinking like when you say grunge it can kind of mean like a lot of things. So grunge, goth, all of those things have kind of like mushed together. Um, alternative styles, they've all kind of come together and it can kind of just be like a very broad term. So I'm just going to say for me what I think is grunge and what I like to dress, like how I like to dress and stuff. Um, but everyone has their own like kind of style and way of perceiving the word like grunge. So yeah. Um, so this is just what I found off like Wikipedia and then I kind of just tweaked it and kind of put my own words in this. But um, so the definition of grunge fashion um, is the clothing, accessories, and hairstyles of the grunge music um, genre and subculture, which emerged in the mid-18... Um, sorry. So, before we get on to the video, I just was going to mention something, that the word grunge can actually be, like, quite broad, and it can kind of cover quite a wide range of styles, and as of now, 2019, I feel like um, these words like grunge, alternative... Um, you know, gothic. It's kind of all just come together in one big mush and everyone kind of just puts it together, which is fine. Like, I do it too. But I just wanted to kind of read out a little, like, definition thing that I kind of found and I also came up with um, that just kind of explains what I think grunge is and where it came from. So just giving you an idea of what grunge is and where it came from because I think that would be helpful for this video. So, I've written down... Um, the definition of grunge fashion is the accessories and hairstyles of the grunge music genre and subculture, which emerged in the mid-1980s in Seattle. Um, it also hit, like, mainstream by the 1990s, which is the most common, like, you know, when you say grunge, you think of the 90s because that's when it really emerged. Um, so, it actually kind of started in Seattle, this whole grunge movement of, like, the music. Because um, grunge wasn't just clothing, it was, like, music. And it kind of came, the um, grunge fashion kind of came from the music genre at the time. So, if you think of bands like Nirvana um, and, you know, Oasis and all those bands that kind of were coming out around in the um, beginning of the 90s, they kind of also influenced grunge fashion um, by what they wore and just, like, the music they played. Um, it's mainly characterized by messy, unkept hair and the kind of thrown together look of like, I don't really care, you know, so um, that's kind of like how I see grunge, um, you know, so when, when someone says grunge, personally I just think of like a lot of denim, like ripped jeans, baggy jeans, everything was quite baggy, oversized t-shirts, graphic tees, um, you know, like a lot of just like combat boots, Doc Martens and everything. So I'm gonna go through and share some of the tips of how you can kind of dress more grunge um, and how you can kind of make your own style. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this. So the first one that I wrote down was a jewelry. Um, this can be like any type of jewelry, but for me, I've looked online and a lot of the times people have been wearing like chain jewelry lately. So like lots of layers and lots of like chains and um, I've seen a lot of like safety pin jewelry. I've actually made some for my online boutique if you want to check that out. But yeah, like a lot of chain kind of thing has been in right now. I don't know if that was like what actually people wore in the 90s. But definitely right now, like that's what the thing is, is chain stuff. I have a bunch of it and I'm going to be showing you examples in just a minute. So number two is dark colors. So just wear any dark colors. This could be black, this could be maroon, this could be um, like uh, khaki, which is like this color. This color is a little bit light, but like khaki, um, navy, red, 
grey. These are all kind of like the shade. You don't have to stick with this. Fashion is a thing of creativity, so you can do what you like. But these are just things that I kind of, um, you know, would wear personally or like think of when I think of grunge. Um, so number three would be plaid skirts, pants, and shirts. So this is iconic for the grunge look. If you want to look 90s at all, just wear like plaid shorts. You can wear, um, there are, there's a lot of shorts around that are plaid right now. You can get like shorts, you can get long pants, um, just plaid like flannel t-shirts. That's really great. Um, and yeah, like even the skirts, the little mini skirts have been really in right now as well. So you can like throw that in. Um, so number four is shoes, um, and I've written down Doc Martens or any type of boots will really do, but Doc Martens seem to be kind of like the thing. Um, personally, I wear Doc Martens all the time. They're like the shoe that I wear. Oh, uh, they've lasted me for years. Um, I don't know how they haven't fallen apart yet because, you know, I wear them so much, but Doc Martens, any type of Doc Martens will do, or combat boots, which are kind of like... Um, they look like Doc Martens, but they're not actually the brand, because Doc Martens is just a brand, but, um, anything will do, really, even, like, Vans, Converse, they can all work, you know, um, it just depends, like, if you're going for more of, like, the grunge, maybe, goth look, or if you're going for more of, a, like, a skater kind of look, you'd probably go for more, like, um, Converse, but it's totally up to you. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, number five is a black nail polish. Um, I kind of, my black nail polish is coming off, but yeah, black nail polish will always make any outfit, any type of style look way more grunge, way more gothic, way just so much cooler. So, if you want to do that, then just wear some black nail polish. That will just be an easy thing that you can do. It goes with the rest of your outfit as well. Um, so, number six is sheer tights under shorts and skirts. Now, this this is something I've actually been doing since I was, like, 14. Um, ever since I kind of got into the whole, like, grunge thing. And, yeah, like, I actually don't see that many people doing this anymore. Maybe, I'm not sure, but, like, yeah. I don't really see many people doing it. I like this because even when it's, like, hot, um, I'll just wear it. Like, if I'm going to be going into aircon or whatever, air conditioning then I'll just do it, but, um, obviously, like, in winter, I'd wear this more, but, yeah, like, it's just a really cool idea, like, you can get the sheer kind of black tights, and then I put them under, like, denim shorts, you can do it with skirts, too, it looks really good if you have, like, a black skirt, or even, like, those, um, kind of, like, those, uh, what are they called, like, mini skirts that have all, like, the checkered, like, plaid patterns on them, that looks really cool, obviously, you can wear it if it's, like, cold, but, like, I would do this, I do this a lot, honestly, um, and this is something that, yeah, I think is extremely grunge, like, if you type into, uh, into Google grunge fashion, it'll immediately come up with the sheer tights and, like, denim shorts, like, ripped shorts with, like, a, um, band tee or a graphic t-shirt, like, and this is a, such an easy thing you can do, like, you can literally just get any graphic t-shirt, a pair of denim shorts, put the tights on with the Doc Martens, and you can put some jewelry, like laid, um, some chain jewelry or whatever. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And, um, it's really comfortable too. That's why I like it. Um, but it actually, yeah, I haven't seen that many people, like, talk about this style or wear it, like, online and stuff. Because I did do a little bit of research before I did this, um, video. And I actually was surprised that not many people seem to be doing that now. But I do it. So, yeah, if you want a really easy, like, proper, like, 90s look, that is something you can do. Um, so number seven is studded belts, and this is something that has been around for ages, like, even in, like, the, probably even the 80s, I think, yeah, in the 80s people wore this, but especially, like, the 90s, early 2000s, studded belts really came in, and, like, the spikes and stuff seemed to come in, um, so, yeah, I have a studded belt that I wear, like, a lot with my clothes, and it just kind of adds to the outfit. Um, also if you're wearing like denim jeans, especially if they're high-waisted, it just makes the outfit look a lot better and like a lot more grunge. So yeah, that's something I would also recommend. Number eight is what I was talking about before, which was graphic t-shirts, um, and wearing long sleeves under your t-shirt. Um, <clears throat> this has been like, 
coming up a lot on my like Instagram feed, especially when it was like, well for me in Australia right now it's summer, but when it was winter, um, like not long ago, I was doing this and I was seeing it online a lot. So this is like another really easy thing. Like you can get a shirt like this um, and you can just put like a long sleeve shirt under it. It could be striped, um, depending on like what the pattern is and the colors, but it could be like a striped shirt. It could just be like a plain t like a plain long sleeve shirt, whatever. And you just put it underneath or you can just wear um, graphic t-shirts like this on its own. This isn't the best example. I don't know if you'd call this graphic tee, but I will be showing you some more examples because I have a lot of t-shirts. Um, but yeah, like that's just something you can do that's super easy and it's cool as well. Like if it's going to be summer, you could just wear the t-shirt. If it's winter, you can put the long sleeve under it. Um, so those were all of my tips and I hope you found this helpful um, and I hope you found like the examples and everything helpful. Um, I tried my best to kind of go through my wardrobe and pick out things that were maybe a bit easier to find, um, weren't so like different, you know, but you can kind of change things like just because I showed you like red plaid pants doesn't mean that you have to wear red plaid pants, you know, like you can get whatever you want, um, you know, each their own, everyone can just... Like fashion is such a personal thing, like everyone has their own style, has their own thing of what they like, different body shapes and everything. But I think a lot of these tips that I showed, they're very like universal, like pretty much anyone could do it. Um, and yeah, I hope you find it helpful. I love like the grunge time so much. Like I so wish I was around in the 90s. I was born in 2000, I missed it. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like I've just, ever since I was like 14, I've just been in love with oh my gosh, like just everything, like the culture, the music, the clothing, everything, like the aesthetic of it is just, and the whole attitude, I think the thing I love the most is the whole attitude of kind of like do what you want, um, the kind of like I don't care thing, and it shows that the clothing and the music at the time was like the best music that's ever been made, like, oh, it's so good. So anyway, enough of my rambling on, I could probably talk about the 90s for ages, but yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave any suggestions down below, like I want to do more fashion videos, so if you have any like ideas, I'm totally all for doing like different, um, like culture, like subcultures or different like times, like if you wanted me to do like an 80s thing, I'd be so up for it, even like 70s, like anything, to, um, early 2000s, like I would love to do that. So if you want to see like lookbooks or examples, um, just comment it or send me a message and make sure you check out the links down below because I do have my online business there and um, just like some social media links. So thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.